you know, when you talk about the Christian church, it can be a little bit confusing because there are all kinds of different churches out there. You know, there's all these different denominations and types of churches, all that claim to be Christians. You have Baptists and Methodists and Catholics and Greek Orthodox and non-denominational churches and many, many more. Well, the question is, well, what's the difference between all of them? And does it really matter? (laughs) Does it matter what denomination my church is or if it's a part of a denomination at all? Well, in order to understand all this, it's important to know that there are three main pieces of what you could call the Christian pie. If you took all the Christians in the world and they made up one big pie, there's kind of three main sections. You have your Catholics, you have your Orthodox Christians, and you have your Protestant Christians. And all of these groups are Christians and they're scattered all over the world. Now, all of these groups, all Christians, are united by uh, some certain core beliefs. Here's just a few of those core beliefs. One is that God has revealed himself to human beings through the pages of the Bible. Another is that there is one eternal God, one supreme God who created everything in the universe and sustains everything in the universe. Another is that while there is only one God, he exists as three persons, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Another is that human beings, all of us have sinned and all of us, every human being is in need of forgiveness from God. And finally, that the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the source of this forgiveness. So again, these things and many other things, all Christians uh, throughout history have agreed on these things. Now, within each piece of this Christian pie, there are these various subgroups, and those are called denominations. Now, maybe you're not familiar with that term. A denomination is simply an association of Christian churches that are unified by distinctive beliefs or an ethnic heritage or historical movements. Now, it's important to note that not all Christian churches are part of one of these particular associations or denominations. There are many churches that are called non-denominational or interdenominational, and that means that they're just not a part of one of these particular groups. Now, it's important to understand that while there are some pretty significant differences between each one of these different pieces of the pie, between Catholics and Orthodox and Protestant, within each of the different pieces, most of the distinctions between the denominations are pretty minor. They are minor distinctions that are based in the interpretation of the Bible. Now, in the Protestant piece, which is the section from which the Pursue God Network comes, uh, here are some of those distinctions that often uh, create differences between the different denominations. Uh, One issue is how literally we should take the Bible. Another is how do we receive this forgiveness that Jesus earned for us on the cross? Another one is about how the Holy Spirit works in our lives today. Now there are many other distinctions that tend to separate denominations. Some of their distinctions are very, very minor. Some are a little bit more significant, but again, within that piece of the pie, everyone agrees on those fundamental issues. And the reality is that a Across all Christian denominations, there is far, far more that unites Christians than divides Christians. So if you're wondering about denominations and what they all really mean, here are some important truths to remember when it comes to denominations. The one is this, that there is not one right denomination. There is no one group that has a corner on the truth. God's truth is found within all these denominations, and some probably have more than others, but there's not one right denomination. Another important idea comes from a very early church father from the 4th century a guy named St. Augustine, and he said this. He said, when it comes to churches, in essentials, there should be unity. In non-essentials, there should be liberty. But in all things, there should be charity. That means that in those fundamental essential issues, all Christians should be on the same page and agree. But in all those other areas that really aren't that big of a deal, we should give liberty to one another. But no matter what, we should always demonstrate charity or love. Another important thing to remember is, as you're thinking about these distinctions, we should always let the Bible be our guide. We don't make decisions about things theology based on our cultural heritage or our feelings or personal emotions. We make our decisions based on the Bible. And finally, maybe the most important thing to understand about denominations is this. You will not get into heaven based on your denomination. God is not going to ask you what church you're a member of when you get to heaven. There's only one thing that matters, and that is whether or not you have trusted in Jesus. Now, if you're not sure what that means to trust in Jesus, I'd encourage you to go back to our foundation series and check out Truth One about what it means to trust in Jesus. So in the end, really your denominational label and title really isn't that big of a deal. It doesn't matter if your church is a part of a particular denomination or not a denomination at all. What matters is, have you trusted in Jesus Christ? So why don't you go ahead and pause now and discuss some of these questions.